I've been away from social media for a while just because it's very easy for me to kind of fall back into forgetting to share things that I do, often little artistic creations, things that you guys would probably really enjoy seeing. I often forget to even show my partner when I've done fun things in my room, drawings or paintings or whatever. Thank you for bearing with my lack of consistency with uploading. Today's video should be fun, it's just going to be a short little adventure where I share with you the mural I painted on my wall. Um, I knew when I moved into the room that I wanted one wall that was an intricately painted design or landscape. I painted these mountains in my mum's studio when I was a teenager. We don't have that house anymore so they're gone but not forgotten and I decided to kind of do a recreation of that. The colour of the walls when I moved into this room were like the worst colour, this really depressing concrete grey. A week after I moved in I painted all my walls cream but left that back wall back there, you can see it's all painted now, um, grey. So I lived with just a grey wall next to my bed for months which wasn't very nice and when we came back from Glastonbury my partner was just like let's just paint the wall, it's been like this for ages. So we did and it's not actually finished. Um, the main design is done, the wall is covered, but there are little details that I want to add in and I'm going to save it for another video because it's probably going to take me a while and filming the process and kind of talking about the subject that I'll be painting I thought would be interesting for you guys. That makes it sound like a person, it's not a person. Or maybe it is. I don't really have a before video. That's another thing I'm really not great at. Doing something creative but making sure I take a photo of what it looks like before. I just usually throw myself into creative stuff. When it's finished I'm really proud of it but I've got nothing to compare it to. Anyway, I'm rambling now, so let's jump straight into it. I'm just gonna show you guys a few time lapses of how we started off. When I first moved in, I had a kind of vision of this design, so I went to Crown, which is a paint shop here in the UK, and I bought this really gorgeous deep blue and green and brown because I knew I wanted to paint a tree as well. Sometimes it turns out better if you don't plan and you just throw yourself into it because you're going with the flow and being in the moment with your own creative process. The journey is part of the fun and um, that's how I ended up with a kind of silver birch style tree on the left hand side. What I kind of naturally was drawn to do was a darker winter style landscape and fading into this kind of light crystalline, turquoisey, spring-like mountainscape on the right hand side. I thought about doing a big sun above my bed and a big moon in the kind of nighttime wintry side but I already have a little moon on my door and the big round space above my bed has been saved for something very specific that I'm gonna paint in the next video. But I do love the fade, the alternating change, light and dark, night and day, the kind of seasons blending into each other. We actually did a deep blue to turquoise blend on the underneath of my shelves and because I'm very specific about colour coordination, during the process I woke up one morning and decided I had to change my books around. I keep my books in rainbow order and I have a whole navy to black section that was kind of on the wrong wall now. So I switched it round and I absolutely love 
the finished effect, it looks amazing. When I do the finer details, I want to go in with like glitter paint and gold. I had a lot of fun painting it and I'm even more excited for the mystery in the sky that will be revealed in the next painting video. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I absolutely adore having this on my wall. I think it adds a load of depth to my room. It makes it feel bigger. I find myself often changing things around and reorganizing my space. I mean, that's not a new thing for me. I've been doing that since I was about 11. But it's really interesting working with the shape and the size of the room and fitting items in, in a kind of feng shui, spiritually and aesthetically pleasing way. Anyway, that's all for this video, you guys. I'm trying to do slightly shorter videos at the moment, so I'm not spending like five days editing, but I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you for tuning in once again. I don't have many other updates. Um, I managed to rehome three of my snail babies, so that's great. My sales are still active and the links for those will be in the description. Hoping you're enjoying this season. It's one of my favorites, if not my favorite. As always, have a blessed week. Thanks again for watching. Bye guys.